Anti money laundering and know your customer. By the end of this session, you should be able to explain money laundering and its implications, identify measures taken by Government of India to prevent money laundering, explain banks' role in anti money laundering measures, and identify different requirements for complying with KYC norms for different customers. There are some people who earn money through illegal activities like illegal arms trade, drugs trafficking, corruption, etc. The money earned through these illegal means is known as black money. Such people always try to transfer the black money through banking system so that it becomes white or clean. This process is known as money laundering. Reducing face-to-face -face contact with customer due to technology-enabled banking transactions has made it difficult to detect such money laundering activities. The money laundering activities has become an issue not only for the economy but also for the security and peace of humanity. Hence, money laundering needs to be curbed and many countries have taken strict initiatives to curb these activities. India is a member of the international financial system and is serious about controlling money laundering activities. The Government of India has enacted Prevention of Money Laundering Act PLMA, in the year 2002. According to this Act, any person directly or indirectly, knowingly or unknowingly, involved in any process or activity connected to money laundering is liable for the punishment. The objective of Prevention of Money Laundering Act is to enable the banks to know and understand their customers and their financial dealings, which in turn help the banks to manage risks. Put in place appropriate controls for detection and reporting of suspicious activities. Comply with applicable laws and regulatory guidelines and take necessary steps to ensure that the bank staff is adequately trained in required procedures. The process of money laundering takes place in three stages placement, layering and integration. Placement The goal in this stage is to deposit criminal proceeds, generally cash, into a bank account at home or abroad. Layering The goal in this stage is to cover the criminal origin of the money by transferring and split frequently between bank accounts, countries, individuals or corporations to create complex transactions that is difficult to audit. Integration This is the final stage in which such money is invested in legitimate economic activity as normal funds like investing or purchasing assets. Role of Banks Prevention is better than cure. So. The banks are required to initiate steps to prevent the money laundering at the first stage itself. Banks should check genuineness of customers before opening the account. Understand customer profile like the financial background and the expected activity level in the bank account. And seek explanations for funds being transacted so as to ensure genuineness. KYC guidelines include four key elements. Customer identification procedures, monitoring of transactions, customer acceptance policy, and risk management. Customer identification procedures. Customer identification should happen from reliable source documents instead of third-person identification. The list of acceptable identity proof documents are Passport, Permanent Account Number or PAN Card, Voter Identity Card, Driving License or Identity Card Issued by the Employer if acceptable to the bank. The same may not serve the purpose of residential proof. Hence, the list of acceptable residential address proof documents are Latest Telephone Bill, Latest Electricity Bill or Bank Account Statement. Monitoring of Transactions 
The banks are required to monitor customers' transactions. Any suspicious transactions are required to be reviewed and reported to Government of India, specifically transactions in new accounts, that do at least for the period of six months from opening the account. Cash transactions of 10 lakhs and above are required to be reported to RBI on a fortnight basis. Customer Acceptance Policy Every bank should develop a clear customer acceptance policy laying down explicit criteria for acceptance of customers. The customer acceptance policy should discourage money laundering, but it should not become restrictive for common public. Risk Management The management of the banks should ensure that an effective KYC policy is put in place by establishing appropriate procedures and ensuring their effective implementation. Banks' internal audit and compliance functions have an important role in evaluating and ensuring adherence to the KYC policies and procedures. This will mitigate risk arising due to non-compliance with KYC norms. Summary Money earned illegally and transferred through banking system is known as money laundering. The Government of India have legislated the Prevention of Money Laundering Act in year 2002. Three stages of money laundering are placement, layering and integration. Banks need to strictly follow KYC guidelines, monitor and report suspicious transactions to prevent money laundering.